you doing, everyone? I hope you're having a terrific Saturday. We're going to be going through three games of footy here on Draft Stars. All the individual matchups are very, very interesting. The Titans v Raiders is going to be a fun one. I'd say it'd be a little bit more high scoring and probably a Raiders win, even though it is in Titan Town. Uh, but potentially still a few decent Titans options there. Sharks v Rabbit is going to be an absolute corker at points bet stadium here in uh in Cronulla there it's gonna be a good one and then the broncos v the tigers and we would expect a broncos win at suncorp and we'll be playing accordingly so the outside backs here is very interesting i think the troll is pretty close to a must-have in that game at eight and a half grand he has 53 as his lowest in the last three weeks if he gets anything at that or above you're going to be absolutely cheering with that result you hope for that for guys that are twenty thousand plus so the Trout, good option there in that first game. Tessie New, I think, is also a decent one up against the Tigers. He's had a low in his last three weeks of 41.5. Again, a 17K. If you can fit these guys in, in those respective matchups, then you're going to have a pretty good go of it there. Johnson, I'm interested in, considering he's averaging 58, just scoring a bulk of tries. But I'm not sure if he's going to get multiple in this game. You'd say maybe one. But with how Souths are going, you, you never know how this game's going to go. And if he if Souths come out and win this one, you'd expect Johnson to score pretty well also, considering he's had one score uh, that's been low in his last six games. So Johnson's always a sneaky, great option there. And then you've got Talakai and Ramian. And the, the big question there is, you know, is Ramian able to continue the form that he was showing before last week? And Talakai has been a little bit more consistent in his like 30s and then random 50s. So either of them, I think at the 13 and a half K, and a little bit below are pretty solid ones in that game. Corey Oates has been scoring pretty solidly as well, so he could have a, a nice big game again. He's had 360s in his past seven games, so Corey Oates could come out and do that one for sure. Katoni Staggs has been okay, but he's not someone that I want to be looking at targeting in this matchup here. You guys like Phil Asami, who's had a couple of solid weeks as well, been flying under the radar, so he can definitely be an option at 13k in that game, which might be a little bit more closer than some of, you know, which could be a little bit, sorry, better for, um, yeah, could, they could do okay considering they're at home and Canberra are doing well, but definitely not one of the top four teams, let's say that. They could come out and dominate. You've got Herder there who's at 40 and a half in his average of the three games. So if, he, if they can come out and have a big one, then he could go, he could do well. Do we expect a double up? You know, two amazing games from Dane Laurie. I'm not exactly sure, but 11,900 is not the worst price to be able to find out. Your Cartwright and Tass, who I think are very, very similar here. Do we think the Souths can come out and have a good game? I'm not exactly sure, but at 11,000 or just below, I think that you know that average that they're seeing at 39 and 37 could be pretty well on the money. Somewhere over 30 for them would be a solid one. Xavier Savage is an interesting one at 10 and a half K. Hasn't been scoring that well, but against the Titans, I'm, I'm expecting some points, so he could do all right. If you need, in that game as well, a cheaper guy, Jojo Fafida, coming off at 29.4 as his lowest, and that 44.8. Uh, I think that he could score anywhere above the 30, and at 10K, you're pretty happy with that. And that's going to be mainly it, apart from Dean Mariner, who has some pedigree in the Queensland Cup there, averaging 44 points in that one. So he's been really solid and touted as a good young outside back. So 9K in that game, you could sneak him in there as well. The halves and hookers. So if you're going to go up top in this game, the Corral of Sharks one, you've got Corral of Sharks, Corral of South there. You've got Damien Cook and Nico Hines, so I think are interchangeable. You can see them both averaging 75 in their past three. And Nico Hines that a little bit cheaper. So up to you how you want to play this one and which team you think can win. But Cook's obviously got just a couple of higher scores naturally, you know, closer to that 90 mark than what Nico has of recent time. He's been very consistent between the high 60s and that 80 mark. So either one of them could do really well. Similarly with, with Foggs and also Reynolds, both have been scoring awesomely at the moment, averaging close to 60. I think they could both do that again. You know, that really high price if you want to go someone big in the halves and the hookers. I think Adam Dewey is also the sneaky one there at 19,000. So we see uh, Jock Madden actually come into the halves. So we're interested to see if Dewey gets most of the kicking again. And it's very similar to what happened in that uh, previous game on the 17th of July when he got the 98. But they are up against the Broncos who have been playing really, really well. Sexton's a cheeky, interesting option as well. Two games in a row now in the 60s. Can he keep that up? Or does he go back to the 20s? You can make that decision if you want to take that risk. But, you know, what it's showing now is four out of the last six, he's done really well. So, yeah, the odds are in your favor now. And at a, a pretty cheap price, let's be honest. You've got Silva Havili, who's a sneaky one. to definitely get you around that, you know, the mid-30s. And then lower from there, Aaron Booth is, a, is an interesting one as well. But at 10K now... Uh, coming off that 28, do you think he can get mid-30s or do we think that he's going to stick closer to that high 20s? Let me know what your th uh, thoughts are in the comments below. 
Forwards, plenty of guys to select, but guys we want to focus on. You've got Payne Haas, who coming up against the Tigers could come out and potentially score a try again, but if he doesn't, you expect somewhere in the mid-60s. You've got Tarpany, who's super solid each and every week at the moment, so again, in that game, he's the... He's the top dog in that one that you might want to pick. Or they have Fafida at the 19.9 there. So he's coming off two decent games, 57 and a 66. So if you want him at 19K, he's solid. Cam Murray, always a great one. I think he's going to play the full 80 in this game, considering it should be pretty close. And you would expect somewhere close to a 60 in that one. Adam Elliott, if you're going a little bit lighter as the guy I would be selecting at 18.6, you've got scores very close to 60 and above each and every one of the last six weeks. So Elliott is a great option for you heading into this week. I think Hastings and Kolomatangi, also good ones. They're averaging over 50. And Cam McInnes is the other one. So he'll move to the 13 role now with Fanukan out for three weeks. And I just think he's going to get a few more minutes and we'll be able to get at least over 50 in this one and we'll be pretty safe for your squad there. If we're looking down that little bit lower, Aaron Clark's pretty close to must-have in that one. He's had two massive games in the 13 role, and he should get big minutes again and be able to score really well for your side. So Aaron Clark at 12,800 is an absolute steal and needs to be selected in your side. You're obviously banking on no injuries and uh, suspensions and send-offs like we saw last night with uh, with Cleary. That was fun, not. But Kelma Tuolangi, 46 and a 52, his last two games. Comes up against Broncos, so maybe not expecting the same, but anywhere close to 40 would be ideal for sure. And then we move right to the bottom now. And Alex Safast, an interesting one at 9K. So he gets that start again and should be getting close to a 40 mark if in that position if he's able to get those big minutes, which he should be able to in this one. So that is the Saturday update, guys. Jump in that description below, hit that sign up link and get cranking, get playing on Draft Stars. I hope to see you in the comments. Hope to see you playing Draft Stars. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. See you later, Sam.